Hey, folks, and welcome back to Glenn and Adrian's Rock Talk. That's Adrian. And that's Glenn. And today, we're going to return to Emerson, Lake, and Palmer and take a look at another epic track. This is called Pirates. This one off Works Volume 1 was the very next album to come out after Brain Salad Surgery, but it took them about three years to release it. Uh, They released a live album. They had done an extensive tour after Brain Salad Surgery. So after that, they took a little time off. This is them coming back. Now, Pirates itself, let me see here. Okay, it says, The 13-minute Pirates originated from a piece Emerson had written for a canceled film version of uh, The Dogs of War. Then Lake and Sinfield got together to write the lyrics, and Emerson said, you know, think about it with the mercenaries in mind. Lake didn't like that idea, so instead <laughs> uh, conjured up images of the sea. The, uh, the lyrics maybe weren't quite what Emerson wanted, but it became something about pirates on the sea. Who'll make his mark, the captain cried. To the devil drink a toast. We'll glut the hold with cups of gold and we'll feed the sea with ghosts. So it sounds like, Avast ye scurvy, or whatever they say on on pirate ships. So it looks like a whole adventure, basically a a story. And a pretty lengthy one, too. So we'll try to keep an ear on the lyrics as we listen to this. All right, any thoughts ahead, Adrian? Oh, I haven't heard pirates yet. Mm, Okay. Yeah, it's going to be mostly new for me, too. I believe that I heard it while I was driving home. It was on pretty low. It was mostly on just so I would be awake <laughs> while, I, while I drove. So I wasn't paying as much attention. So I look forward to being able to give it all my attention right now. Okay. All right. Let's check it out.
the first time I've heard or seen ELP play with an orchestra, but it really works. Yeah, I was reading as as this started, I noted that there was an orchestral tour that accompanied, I suppose, accompanied this release. Yeah, that was kind of a nice surprise. Yeah. This album was set up so that side one would be the Emerson side, and he played uh, his own piano concerto number one, which involved an orchestra. (laughs) And then side two was the Greg Lake side, which had acoustic ballads, pretty much all written by Lake and Peter Sinfield. And then side three was the Carl Palmer side, classical pieces on that too. So it did make sense that they would employ an orchestra for the tour, especially as by now they were a top-selling band, I think. At least they were doing pretty well. (laughs) It's kind of surprising that they hadn't uh, done the orchestra thing before. Yeah, that is true. That is true. But in this case, I mean, it seems like maybe even the uh, the title of the album gives that clue that maybe they were trying for something that was a little bit more serious or at least involved orchestral arrangements. They wanted Bernstein, Leonard Bernstein, but I guess it didn't work out that way. Yeah, Sinfield remembered Bernstein describing it as primitive. <laughs> well, you know, at that point in time, I'm sure that, I mean, I know the critics were dumping on Emerson, Lake Palmer, and a lot of the progressive bands, too. They just didn't catch it. But then again, the critics dumped on Led Zeppelin when they came out. So, yeah, the lyrics on this are basically, hey, we're pirates. Yeah, we're going to have to rob you. Sorry about that. You know, we feel a little bad, but frankly, this is a whole lot easier than going out and doing it all ourselves to just go ahead and rob you when you come through. So, you know, you know how it is. <laughs> that's kind of, and yeah, we're going to hell, but hey, what can you do? You know, that's it. Let's, let's have a toast. You know, <laughs> so, so gold drives a man to dream. Pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. Cool track. I think that I like the direction that Lake and Sinfield went with this set of lyrics over what Emerson had in mind. So very good. Pretty good listen. <laughs> Pretty fun to listen to, to and watch. Once again, thanks for that suggestion. And anybody out there that has other ideas for us having to do with this band or really any other that you think is noteworthy, maybe doesn't get a lot of attention, please leave those below and, and we will at least look <laughs> and make some, you know, see what we think about it. Uh, Meanwhile, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And if you enjoyed our presentation, please subscribe. All right. Thanks so much for joining us on this, and we'll catch you on the next one. All right. Take care, folks. See you all later.